Here's a really tough question on the SAT about arithmetic mean, and we're gonna start this backwards. Anytime I get a word problem on the SAT, I like to look at the question right away. That way I know what I'm trying to look for. It says, what is the ratio of M to N? A ratio is just a fraction. We're trying to look for the fraction of M over N. That's my main goal. At least I know what to look for now. Starting from the beginning, the average test score for all the students in the class is 84. This kind of starts backwards we're given the average right away. And how do we get the average test scores? It's gonna say it on the second sentence. It says the average score of M boys in the class was 79. That means every boy in the class scored about 79 points. We can write that expression as 79 M. And we don't know how many boys there are. That's why I put M right there. And the girls average score, girls are owning the boys, was 87. So we can write that in a similar way, 87 N. And don't try to do this in your head. I try to do it in my head and I got really lost. If you know how to do it in your head though, let me know in the chat, but I'm just going with this. The biggest mistake here that people do is that they divide by two because they added two items, right? But in reality, we don't know how many items we're adding up because we don't know the values for M and N. We don't know the number of boys and girls. So to write the expression of how many things we're adding up, we're gonna write M plus N at the bottom, the number of boys and girls. Now we just have to do some simple algebra to find out what that equals. This is a rational equation to get rid of this m plus n at the bottom because I don't want a denominator at the bottom. Just multiply both sides by m plus n. That's going to cancel that out. So I might as well distribute the left side and I will get 84m plus 84n equals 79m plus 87n. And again, if you get lost on what you're doing, we're just trying to get this ratio right here. Let's separate the m's and n's. Minus 79m, let's put this m's on the left side and the n's on the right side. That simplifies to 5m equals 3n. And we're almost there. I'm gonna get rid of that five by dividing by five. So that's gonna cancel out and to move the n on the other side, I can multiply this by one over N. You're basically dividing by N. And here's where the magic happens. Now we got M over N equals, this is gonna cancel three over five, final answer. That one is seriously tough. That's one of the rougher questions I found, but I hope this explanation helped. If it did, throw a like and a subscribe. If you got a better way to do this, let me know. Otherwise, I'll see you on the next episode. Peace.